Bienvenidos and welcome all you shining spectacles, my name is Frostbite, and today we're going to be doing a follow-up to my previous video about glasses. If you recall in that video, I mentioned that there is no partial transparency, there's no translucent effects you can add to your glasses in Vroid. We can remedy that by utilizing some little tricks in Unity, so that's what I'm going to cover today. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, this might not be the place to start, so please go check out my other video about glasses, but if you've already seen that, you're in the right place. So if you're looking in Vroid, you should have something like this, something with glasses. And again, if you're not familiar with this, you can go see that other video first. So we're going to take a look and as you would expect, we've got our hair texture just as we did in that previous video. Uh, this time it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to take that same thing and we're going to import an updated version. Now in this version I've used Photoshop to just quickly add kind of a semi-transparent white color on these glasses. Uh, it's about 50% opacity on that and as you can see Vroid doesn't detect it at all. It just makes it completely transparent. If I draw on there with a solid color, then you can see the color shows up on the glasses. And that's because Vroid Studio will not process a partial transparency. So it's all or nothing. The pixel is on or the pixel is off is basically how it looks at it. So the only way to fix that is to load it up in Unity and again do some fancy trickery. So as you would with any model, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this as is and we're just going to export our model out of Vroid Studio and we're going to go ahead and just keep the imported glasses texture on there. It doesn't really matter, we're going to re-import it in just a little bit here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open up Unity. As with any of these Vroid tutorials, you need to have 2019.4 as your version. Any variation of that will work. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new project and we're going to call it Glasses Return. So we've got this loaded up. We're going to go ahead up to Assets here. We're going to import a custom package and we're going to go ahead and use that UniVRM. So that UniVRM package, of course, is going to let us load in our VRM model that we exported out of, out of Vroid Studio. And we'll bring that into Unity here. So once we've got our package loaded up, we're going to go up to the top with our new drop-down VRM and choose Import, and of course, navigate to wherever our VRM file is, and load that in. We'll go ahead and hit Save on the next window, and once that's loaded in, we're just going to grab our little icon there, drag and drop over on the left side, and zoom in just to confirm, yep, that's the one that we wanted to have. So as you can see, we still don't have that nice translucent effect in the glasses that we're so we're going to navigate down to our textures, find the one we want, and you can see it looks fine. It looks like it should right here in the window. It's got that white in the middle that I created. Um, so to get this corrected, we're going to need to replace this file real quick. So we're going to go ahead and take this one. You can right click and you can open the browser location. And I'm going to go to the original one that I have, and we're going to make sure it's named exactly the same. So you can rename the one that's already in your Unity folder, or just delete it, or as I'm doing, just drag and drop and overwrite it, however you want to get rid of that. But now you can see, well that definitely doesn't look right, because now it's all solid color. So now we've got to correct that on the materials layer. So we're going to navigate over to our materials, we're going to find the one that is the glasses, which mine is pretty obvious, because my glasses are a very distinct color. And up at the top, we're going to go ahead and change our shader here to a VRM transparent. And as you can see, it's there. It's transparent. It's looking great in terms of the glasses, but now our eyelashes are kind of sticking out. And that's because it's in the wrong render order. So when you select your lashes, scroll way down to the render queue and change that little drop down to be from shader. And that'll put it in an order that is behind the glasses. It won't be rendering in front of the glasses. And that's all there is to it. That'll correct that for you. You'll have your glasses with the nice translucent effect that we're looking for. And all you have to do is go up to VRM and export it. Make sure you got all your fun little stuff in there. And once you hit export, you're all done. 
You'll have model. Looking good with your stylish glasses, just like I'm looking like right over here. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!